Well, the next joke I have is kind of like a long story, and everyone that knows me knows that I'm a fountain of stories. And uh, I'm not going to mention names uh, because he's here tonight, but he's actually standing right there. That's my brother, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a hand. That's my brother, everybody. This next story. This next story is about my brother. And, and I don't even like to call it a story. It's more like a current event. Okay? Because I recently just got back from Panama, and I was there for two weeks on this family trip, and lucky me, I was, I was cabanned up with that guy the whole trip. So this was my roommate, and uh, this is just one little tale of the, of the 10 day trip we went on Panama. And uh, it goes a little something like this. Basically, uh, the midway part of the trip, we were into Cameroon, and it's this huge resort, all inclusive, all you can eat, you know, uh, a lot of gluttony running around, and also all you can drink. That's a fun tidbit in the story, too. So keep that in mind. All you can drink. Okay. So anyway, we're going on this trip. We're having a good time. We're there for the first night. And we go to this discotheque. We're, we're having a good time, whatever. And we get back, and I'm kind of like really tired. And my brother's like, you know what? I'm going to go back out. You know, first red flag of the night. I'm going back out. I'm like, you know, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. He's like, no, nah, I'm just going to put some pants on. That place is bumping. I'm going back to the discotheque. I was like, all right, whatever. I'm going to bed. Okay? So, maybe a couple hours go by. I finally wake up to, like, a drunken Whiskey Dickens novel, which is my brother stumbling into the room, like, Bleh! like knocking everything over. And it's like an open-tiled room, but he's just finding shit to knock over. Just knocking whatever he can over, flipping lights on. I'm just like, go to bed. Go to bed. Like, just, you know. Doing my come to, just like, go to bed, Jace, go to bed. He's like getting on his phone, Skyping with his girlfriend on his Wi Fi, turning more lights on. He's in his underwear, just pacing around. Okay, so, to make a long story short, I finally am like, oh, I sleep, this is amazing. Just coming to you. All of a sudden, I just start hearing, like, what is that? What is that, running water? Like that, 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 you know, voice in your head? What am I hearing? And I'm like, yeah, I swear to God, it's running water. So I'm like, uh, is that the AC leaking? Is the tub running? And I just look right up, and it's my brother taking a fucking leak all over the place, in the hotel room, pissing on everything, okay? So at this point, you know, I have glasses, I'm coming to, I'm squinting, and I'm like, okay, he's urinating. So I yell, Jason, you're pissing on everything. Doesn't even flinch, just, you know, it's just like at the ball game, just having a good time. At this point, I'm like, I have to get up and physically let him know he's urinating because he is like blackout drunk. I hop out, slip in a puddle of piss because it's waterfall to the edge of the bed. I home alone style right on my back. Now I'm covered in piss. I've gone from about a five to like a 10. Like I'm incredible Hulk roid rage now and it's turned into an episode of Cops. And I'm just like, ah! just freaking out, grabbing him. And right when I come up to him, I grab him and he thinks I'm in the bathroom. He's like, what are you doing in here? After yelling at him, 10 minutes, he thinks I'm in the bathroom. And he's just like, no, no. I punch him to get him to stop. And then I have to throw him into the bed. Keep in mind, he like, I don't know, I must have had like the mother's adrenaline of the baby, like, you know, under the truck with the fire. I had that kind of adrenaline because I threw him into the bed and he just like, right to bed. Just like, nothing even happened. Like, I might as well wet the bed as far as he's concerned. So I got piss on me, I'm just freaking out. I'm thinking like the Decameron Panama police are coming because it sounds like, I was like, oh! Just freaking out, flipping all the lights on. And keep in mind, I'm not trying to get really graphic here, people, but like we're talking orange liver enzyme piss. Like this isn't like, oh, I drank a bunch of water piss. Like lots and lots of piss. Clean it all up, go take a shower, calm my Roy Rage down to a two. About three hours later, I get to bed and I'm laughing to myself, thinking this will be funny in the morning, right? I get up, Jason's eyes like bloodshot. He's of course like real responsible. He's got a tea time at 9 a.m. He's just like, Ugh. back to stumble, wino mode. I don't know where I'm at. I'm like, dude, what's going on? And Jason's like, why are there a bunch of orange towels in the bathroom and it smells like piss everywhere? I'm like, well, you pissed all over the place. And he's like, no, no, you're lying. I went to the bathroom. I distinctively remember it. And I'm like, well, listen, I didn't decide to piss on everything and punk you and say it was you in the morning and have a good time. And then finally he comes to and he's just like having this moment of realization. He's just like, Jeff, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, man. Please don't tell anyone this story. Thank you. I'm Jeff Allen. I'm out.